Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. It is now September 5th, I'm in zone 5B. And this is the first time I'm growing watermelon sugar, ba sugar baby bush. I started the watermelon from seed April of 2020. And I put this watermelon in the container in June of 2020. Unfortunately, Colorado's weather is very fickle and it is on steroids. We have been breaking records of 90 degree temperatures for at least 70 days during the summer months. Yesterday, we broke a record at 101. Today, it's going to be 98. And Monday, Labor Day, it's going to be 90. Four. And believe it or not, Tuesday, the high will be 43 degrees. Our low Monday night will be 34, Tuesday night 32, Wednesday night 27. Thursday will be back up in the 80s, nighttime temperatures in the 60s. Will this watermelon plant survive the freeze? I doubt it. So I'm gonna have to harvest the watermelon. Unfortunately, this plant ended up with spider mites. We had a drought this summer. It was a tough year gardening. I was very successful on the majority of my crops, but this was my first time ever growing watermelon sugar, ba sugar baby bush. And by the time I realized I had um, spider mites, I really had to come in and um, just blast the watermelon leaves with a jet spray water and then I had to uh, spray it with neem oil and I continued treating it with neem oil until I was able to get the spider mites under control but you can see the damage now here's a lot of the new growth here and you can see I've got a lot of flowers look at that got a lot of flowers and here's all the new growth that looks really healthy you can see the new growth right here that looks healthy but this is the older growth here that was impacted by the spider mite. Unfortunately, the plant's not going to survive the low temperatures of 32 and 27 degrees this week. So I'm gonna go, I'm going to have to harvest the watermelon. So I only got two watermelons this season. Again, this is my first time growing watermelon baby bush and we'll see what I was able to accomplish. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest it. Now I did put a sling on both these watermelons and because of that, I was happy to see that they did really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the sling off this watermelon. This one didn't particularly grow that much so I'll go ahead and cut this. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the sling off this one as well. And I thought the watermelon would get a lot bigger, but this is about as big as it got and it's a little elongated, so that might have a lot to do with the pollination. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. So I got two uh, baby bush, sugar bush, sugar baby bush watermelon off this vine. Even with the challenges I had growing this summer in a drought during the entire summer, as well as having to combat spider mites on this plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this watermelon and see what I was able to accomplish. I am going to grow this next year. However, I, I'm going to learn from my past mistakes. I'm going to have to monitor it a little better and help, help pollinate the watermelon along the way because the pollination 
was really slow this summer and unfortunately I did help pollinate it but not as much so I'm really going to monitor that next year. Lessons learned if we get a drought next summer I'm really going to have to just monitor it and make sure that I keep this plant um, uh, wet down because uh, spider mites are very very prominent during hot dry summers and again we were in the 90 degree temperatures which is okay for these type of plants it just was too dry for the plants and watermelons love humidity so uh, I'll make some course corrections and hopefully next summer when I grow this again hopefully I can do a better job so let's cut this watermelon and see what it looks like okay so the moment of truth where we're going to cut the watermelon and see how I was able to do this summer with growing my first baby sugar bush watermelon for the first time. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it like this. See what, what it looks like. Oh, doesn't look very good. It wasn't ripe and unfortunately I had to harvest it because we're going to get um, freezing temperature Tuesday so it needed more time to yeah it needed more time to harvest I needed another 30 days on this um, watermelon unfortunately with freezing temperatures uh, hitting us uh, Monday night and Tuesday night and Wednesday night there was no way I was going to able to keep this watermelon on the vine so unfortunately it doesn't look like it's ready to be harvested I'm not sure what it tastes like I'll go ahead and try to sample it it's not too bad it's um it's semi-sweet, it's really soft. It's really a shame that trying to grow a watermelon in um, Zone 5B with a short growing season, and this is the type of watermelon that does have a short growing duration. I needed another month in order for this watermelon to uh, ripen. But one of the beauties of growing food is um, you learn from past mistakes you learn from your experience and you do a course correction so more than likely I will probably um, hope that I can extend my growing season a little longer and uh, do a, see what I can do next year but um, thanks for watching just wanted to share with you my experience in growing watermelon for the first time and um, what are some of the situations that um, impacts a a small business grower or a, um, or a person who's growing crops in their backyard or someone's interested in growing their own food and what to do next time in order to be able to have fresh watermelon. So thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.